everyone, welcome back to another Smart Chats video. Today I am joined by Nikki De Roost, who is the global makeup artist at Bare Minerals. We're going to be doing a makeup look while chatting all things natural beauty. So we are going to do what we like to call a clean beauty look. So using all Bare Minerals, some of my favorite products, and also a new product that just came out, which I'm really excited for you to try. Amazing, I'm looking forward to this product. Yeah, so um, I'm just gonna start um, with prepping your skin. So you don't have anything on right now, do you? No. Okay, this is my favorite product of all time. From It's called Skin Longevity, and it's um, a really amazing serum. I use it on everybody. So I work a lot um, in Hollywood uh, with a lot of celebrities on the red carpet and you know, it's really important with any makeup look to prep the skin before putting on anything because mm -hmm. I think if you don't have a good prep the makeup's never going to live the way that you want it to So for example, the skin longevity, it's really moisturizing. It's packed full of really healthy ingredients It's almost as if you were to take a health shot, but Amazing. it's for your skin so I use this on everybody, um, use it morning and night. I like to travel with it on the plane. Um, the whole Skin Longevity line is incredible. Mm -hmm. So if you're not using it, you should definitely give it a try. That's a really interesting point actually, to look after your skin and it's all about what you put under your makeup that can make a massive difference. Yes, it's, it's pretty major because I think if you don't, any any products that you're trying will never kind of perform the way that you wish that they did because you need the proper moisture and clean ingredients and preparation beforehand. Mm -hmm. So we're going for a very clean, natural makeup look today. Mm -hmm. What is it about natural beauty that you're interested in? Well, I think more than ever, we're really at, at a time where we're educated about products and mm -hmm. ingredients and you know, I think on one hand, if you're really into health and, you know, what you're putting inside of your body, what you're eating and what you're drinking, it should absolutely be the same for your skin as well and your body and what you're using. And so I think the more you can use really healthy ingredients, it's always going to be better. It, it makes sense, doesn't yeah. it? Why would you um, be so interested and passionate about the food you eat and fitness and not care about the skincare? I think it's a really good point to make. Yeah. So I'm just right now, I'm swatching to make sure that this is the right shade. So this is the yeah. Complexion Rescue. This is the new foundation stick. It's an SPF 25. Amazing. Which I'm a huge stickler on SPF. So I'm really happy that this has SPF in it and it's the perfect match for you. So you are shade 5.5, which is called Bamboo. And I know that you already are a fan of Bare Minerals, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I normally wear the Originals foundation and this is the first time that I've used the stick. So I'm really excited to see how this turns out. Cool, yeah, this is good. exciting. So I'm going to um, show you how I like to use it. I actually, beforehand, this is just something I personally love to do. This is another one of my favorite products, which is the Complexion Rescue Tinted Moisturizer. I love this, and especially it's, in the summer. It's yes, beautiful. it's so beautiful. And I like to use this in conjunction with the stick. It's mm -hmm. not a requirement, but I'm an artist. Yeah, and, you know, I up. like to layer yeah. it. Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to apply this first all over and then we will layer the foundation stick over the top. Mm -hmm. um, so this is just giving you a nice kind of base coat. Um, it will kind of take out any redness. And what I love about this product is it also gives a lot of glow as well. Yeah, sometimes I use this just on its own, nothing else. Yes. And on the, especially on like weekends where you're just out and about wandering around, just having this on its own, I feel like I don't need any other makeup. Right. It's just, it does it all. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. And definitely compared to most other brands, um, tinted moisturizers, I feel like this is kind of a product on its own. Mm -hmm. um, also because of the amount of hydration you get with this product. And over time, your skin also improves as well. Mm -hmm. So it's really incredible. And I think for me as an artist, it just feels really good to use products that are always treating the skin and making it better and yeah. never having to worry about um, 
sending someone away and hoping that their skin doesn't have any bad reactions. Yeah, I've had that before. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to take what's left on my brush and just kind of blend down the neck mm -hmm. to make sure that everything looks really fluid and even. And I'm using one of my favorite brushes. This is called the Smoothing Face Brush. And I love it because it's got kind of the duo fibers. It's nice and compact, and I feel like you can get a really nice makeup application with it. Mm -hmm. Do you tend to use your fingers as well, like brushes and fingers? I and do. Yeah. On myself at home, I'm such a hands person. Yeah. Um, and as an artist, I will sometimes kind of at the end with blending, but typically mm -hmm. I don't try to use my hands on people's faces yeah. quite as much. Um, so with this product, what I'm doing is starting in the center of your face, because that's typically where we need the most coverage. And what's your first impression? How does it feel? It feels really smooth, like silky smooth. Yeah. It's not thick at all. No, and it's, uh, I don't know if you can feel it, but I think it's a little bit cooling too. Yeah, it is actually, yeah. Yeah, it's really interesting. So this is really, really moisturizing and your skin will actually retain more moisture as you use it, mm -hmm. which is really incredible, especially for something that's makeup, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, and it just blends really, really well. And keep your skin looking glowy throughout the day. Yeah, and it's great too, because it's nice and compact. You can throw it in your handbag. Mm -hmm. um, and you can also layer if you need touch-ups on yeah. the go. And this is only just launched as well, so. Yes. Happy we're using this today. This is new, new. I've been waiting for this to launch. I it's know. Exciting. It's so exciting. So how did you first become interested in natural beauty? I think it's just um, with time and education mm -hmm. and kind of starting to understand more um, what brands are doing and, and seeing what brands put a lot of thought and care into their products and that was something that really attracted me to Bare Minerals mm. and why I wanted to work with them but also as a makeup artist it's important to have products that also perform because at the end of the day I need things that work and yeah. so that's what I love about Bare is that I get to have both things the best yeah. of both worlds which is really important. Yeah it's important to find a clean beauty brand that actually works mm -hmm. which is exactly what you found here. Yeah. So I'm going to use this as a multitasking product. So I switched to a smaller brush and this is called the Shade and Diffuse Eye Brush actually, but I love using it for concealer. And I'm just putting a little bit onto my brush and applying this right to your under eye. And then I like to just kind of layer concealer just only in the places that really need it. Mm -hmm. So instead of wearing a thick layer of makeup all over, mm -hmm. keep it really light and then just add, you know, if you have any spots or anything that needs just like a little bit more attention. Yeah. I've annoyingly broken out like around here today. I wake up, I say, no, we're filming makeup. That's how, it's it, typical, always, that's isn't how it? it always goes. Yeah. yeah. It's like your your skin knows the yeah. important moments that Absolutely you... Absolutely <laughs> knew. It's like, huh, just you wait until yeah. you wake up and yeah. see what we've done. Yeah. It's like, joke's on you. Yeah. But that's the good thing too, because a lot of the times when I'm dealing with a breakout and I want to cover it, I feel really good when I use Bare because I know that I can cover it up, but I'm not going to make it worse. Yes. It's actually going to make it better. And yeah. I think sometimes when you do have a blemish, you, you're you nervous because you don't want to put something on it that's going to irritate it yeah. yeah yeah whereas you don't have to worry about that with these products when right they're mineral based right with the clean ingredients right so I'm not a major powder person for all over the face but I do like to use it just in kind of key areas mm -hmm. so this is the mineral veil and I just put a little bit into the lid of the product and I'm just going to take this now and kind of just powder in some of the areas, but then leave the rest because I feel like that's a really roundabout way to get kind of that glow, almost like as if we put a highlighter on, but we didn't have to yeah. put a highlighter on. So it's a good little hack if, as well if you don't have time to do yeah. a full, full look, but you can still get that result. And good to kind of top up throughout the day just in those little areas, mm -hmm. not all over. Yeah, exactly. So I think in the olden days, we were taught just to kind of powder like everywhere everything. yeah we didn't really know why that's just kind of what our moms did yeah. and what we saw but now we have the opportunity to 
just use it where we want to. Yeah, especially because there are so many more creamy consistencies with makeup. You do, if you've got a powdered face, you don't really want to be combining like right. that powder with cream. It can just... Exactly. Close your eye for me. Not the best finish. Definitely. Are there any um, hero ingredients that you think work really, really well within these products? Um, specifically with the foundation stick, there is the red algae, which I love, mm. um, and I think is a very beautiful ingredient. And of course, I already spoke about the SPF. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, and I think that that is such a way to stay youthful as long as you can without having to do anything. Just using your sunscreen is so important. Absolutely. So I love when makeup already has that provided. Yeah. Because then you just know you're good to go. Totally. Which is important. Because it's hard to find a really good sunscreen that you can wear underneath makeup. So if it's in the makeup, it's like win-win. Right, exactly. It's a, one less thing to worry about as well if it's totally. two in one. Totally. So I'm going to show you a little trick for... Um, I, guess, I guess, wouldn't say multitasking, but it's using the foundation stick also to give a little bit of sculpt and definition, mm -hmm. um, which is really cool. So general rule of thumb is you want to go about three shades darker than your foundation. Right. So this is Terra. It's 8.5. And I'm just going to give a little bit of definition. Um, you have great bone structure, but we always love to just Thank add a little bit more. So as you can enhance. see here... Um, I just drew a line and then I'm taking a brush with nothing on it and I'm just going to kind of um, push this right into your cheeks and that will just give you a little bit of shape. The reason why I like to do this with the same formula is that I feel like they marry really well together. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever tried to use a contour stick or powder and you can, it kind of like looks patchy or it mm -hmm. doesn't look like it's blending yeah so when you use the same formulas you're able to get a much more seamless application and again it's you know that it's clean which is great yeah so depending on what you have going on like i'm just doing a little subtle amount because we don't need to do like a crazy contour for the daytime no. yeah um and then you can take like a little bit of whatever's left over or put a little on your brush and just kind of work a little around the temple. So with this shade, it's not going to be your traditional kind of gray toned contour. This is almost um, bronzing, but sculpting mm. at the same time because it's got a bit of warmth to it, which I think especially here in the UK, warmth in the skin is great. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> yes. I feel like I am gray and white at the yes. moment. Yes, <laughs> yes. I know, and I'm so used to the light in LA, which in LA, is a totally oh. different tone than it is here. Yeah. Very so jealous of that. We cheat it as much as we can. Um, and then you can take a little bit and just work it down the neck slightly and around the jaw just to give a little bit of definition mm -hmm. around the neck. Are there any beauty myths that you have come across working in this industry that you can debunk? Myths, myths, myths. Um, I mean, I think this day and age, like everything is smoke and mirrors, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, I think a lot of the times even things that we're seeing online aren't particularly real mm. or it might just be for a show, um, you know, for right. a good video, um, but don't really happen in real life. Yeah. I don't know if you notice that a lot. Oh, yeah. It, it's, it's quite a worrying thing, actually, because um, people are obviously so inspired by what they see online. But you would never really question, is it even real? Has this photo been manipulated in some way to look a certain way? Right. So yeah, that, that can be quite a dangerous, dangerous thing. I mean, I think there's a lot of stuff within makeup in particular that we, I don't even know if we'd call it a myth, but we just do it because we don't really think or think outside the box, mm. right? Like it's kind of even talking back to the powder. Like we just yeah. powder because that's just, something what we've, we've always taught. Yeah, yeah yeah but no one's ever really stopped to to think like well why am I doing that and I think there's a lot of that around makeup that that you end up doing yeah so a, a it's really that. interesting seeing a lot of old 90s makeup trends come back now mm -hmm. like all the eyeliner and colored mascaras even yep that's a really interesting one definitely and I think a lot of um 
women lately that I've worked with on the red carpet have been referring to a lot of images from the 90s as mm. references um, for their makeup applications as well, which I love because the supermodels of the 90s are definitely who I gather a lot of inspiration from, but mm -hmm. I also think it's because they were just these raw, beautiful women that, yeah. you know, it was a lot more of a simple time back then, even for modeling, I think. Yeah. So I'm just using, this is actually um, the Bear Pro lipstick, but I'm using oh. it um, as your blush, blush. today. And, and a little trick. Love yeah, it. yeah, it's really, it goes on really nicely. It has kind of a velvet um, finish to it. And I think it's just, it gives you that nice kind of flushed look. And mm. since everything that we did was creamy, I wanted to stick to a cream. Stick to those consistencies, yeah. Yeah. It, I mean, it feels like it blended really nicely. Yeah, definitely. Like that, those consistencies all together. Yeah, and really I'm nice. just kind of adding a little bit onto my finger and then just tapping it on until I feel like I'm have enough on that I want to, but it's really easy to use. And this mm -hmm. is also a great trick to do as a touch up when you are on the go. If you feel like you're looking a little pale, like you can always just take a little bit of your lip and throw it on your cheek as Love well. That. Yeah. So then we can also just to kind of marry the two. You have a nice, you have a good toned lip on its own, but we'll just tap a little bit of this onto your lip as well. Do you wear a lot of lip product? Yeah, I, I used to actually wear a lot of lip product, but because I do have that natural pigmentation, I tend to sometimes just put a balm over the top. Yeah. It's fine for daytime. Yeah, you're lucky. I, I have really pale lips, so I feel like I always have to put some That's sort true. of color yeah. on. But yeah, you naturally have pretty good color. I like the shade you're wearing now, actually. Thank you. What is that? It's probably, at this point, who knows, it's like a combination of things. <laughs> Five I, different products. I threw on, on um, everything, this lip gloss, nice. before. Nice. Yeah. good. Yeah. So the, and this shade is strawberry, which is really, it's cute on you. Mm. It's perfect. It actually is just kind of an extension of your lips, nice. which is Perfect. great. Um, so let's move into eye. Take a look. You haven't really seen yourself, oh, yeah. which is always. Oh, I love it. That blush works so well. Right. And matching those the lips to the blush just mm -hmm. ties it all in really nicely. Yeah, it kind of simplifies yeah, things too. Yeah, looks great. Yeah, I love it. It's really fresh. So let's just do a really simple eye. Um, I love these uh, sticks as well, the Bear Pro sticks, because mm. they're just easy to use and they stay on really well. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just going to swatch my hand really quick to decide what I want to do. Sticking with those creamy consistencies. Yeah, we're around. doing everything's just going to be kind of easy and creamy mm -hmm. and soft. We'll start with um, this shade is called Sunset Rose. It's really pretty. And all of these products that we're using today are vegan, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm just gonna apply this to your lid. The only, I guess, key to this product is moving pretty quickly. So once you have it on, you wanna blend with your brush before you move on to the other eye. It's amazing that they are so long wear. Mm -hmm. And so that's, with that being said, you need to just blend before moving on or right. else it won't, it will stick exactly where you put it. <laughs> So I think that's the key, but it's nice. You can just add a little bit and it gives you a little bit of a pop and definition, but it's still, I think for me, a great day-to-day -day look is just something that's really monochromatic. It doesn't really compete with anything. It just, you look really soft and put together, but it's not distracting either, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Especially for a daytime look like we're going for today. Yeah. There's moments to have a moment with makeup, but I think for the most part as women, we just want to kind of know what to do to just look good every day with everything that we're doing and have kind of our our standard look. And yeah. then from there, we can learn to kind of play and do more. Yeah, definitely. When I first started experimenting with makeup, I would go for like different looks every day and kind of get a bit too overexcited with all the different products. Whereas now for the last couple of years, I've had my one 
standard day-to-day -day makeup look and just adjust it every now and again like when a new product comes out that sounds really interesting you know I'll play mm -hmm. around with that yeah. but I still try to stick to my everyday right. natural look yeah I agree because I think it, it you also get ready so much faster too when you're not like Absolutely. yeah fussing around it saves a lot of time just yeah. knowing what you're doing knowing what products you're using exactly so we'll play a little we'll put um this is Gilded Sun, and I'm just going to pop that right onto the center of your eyelid. And this will just give a little bit of glow and texture. It's really nice when you're just kind of almost living your normal life when, it, when you're talking and moving your eyes around, it hits the light really well. And it's a nice subtle way to just give a little bit more glam to your look. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of that. And then I'm actually, going to have you apply your mascara because I think we all have our way that we like to do our mascara so um this is Thank the you. lash topia which is one of my favorite mascaras because it really is thickening and it makes you have really full beautiful lashes um and it's clean which I think it's hard to find really great performing mascaras that are also vegan do you have a favorite product that you just it's your go-to product that you couldn't live without. I mean, you're asking a makeup artist <laughs> I know. this question. The hardest question you'll ever be asked. I feel like that's really hard. I mean, I really do every day use the Complexion Rescue mm. Tinted Gel. This is like my go-to, and I try to get everybody yeah. to use that as well. So for me, I'm excited that there's the stick. Um, so there's two different versions of it. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's funny because I really... For myself personally, I just feel really good. I feel like it's the right amount of coverage, gives the right amount of glow, but the biggest part is I'm such a huge skin advocate and so I just feel really good using it. Yeah, and you use clean. it in such a diverse way, having right. it underneath the stick, for example. Yeah. It's kind of, you can use it in so many different ways. Right. Perfect. Yeah, I, I do scars. love it. Are we doing bottom lashes or sticking to top? A little bottom. Little I always bottom. like a, yeah, yeah, a little bit on the bottom too. You have such good lashes. <laughs> Thank you. I don't think we need to use the liner. I just want to keep it, yeah, more about the shadow and the mascara. Yeah, I mean, mascara. that's such a lovely daytime look. I mm -hmm. love that. I'll have you do just a little bit of gloss. Just, a little bit of gloss? Yeah. To finish it all off? To finish it all off. This Perfect. is called Can't Even. Can't Even. I love these names. They're fun. Mm. So I love these glosses because they actually last a long time as well. I often put them on before I teach a class or film a video and I'm always surprised that when I finish they're still on. I know they are long lasting aren't yeah, they? Yeah because I think typically with glosses you feel like they they go away really yeah. quickly. And they can feel quite tacky sometimes so mm -hmm. you're very aware of it whereas these they just kind of sit really nicely. Yeah and I love them because I feel like it's really hard to get the right nudes. Yeah. And yeah. all of these nude shades are so good. Definitely. So as an artist for me they're perfection. Makes your life a lot easier. Yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. Amazing. You know, I just think this is like really clean and simple and put together, but not fussy. Yeah. Which I love with makeup. I absolutely love it. And really easy to do at home on your own because of how well they all blend together. You, mm -hmm. it, you can't really go wrong with all of those consistencies, can you? Right. Brilliant. Yeah. I love it. So there we go. The makeup look is finished. Thank you so much. Thank you. I it was a like pleasure. I have learned so much from you. Amazing. It's really, really interesting to talk to you. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed at home and you learned something too. Leave a comment down below and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye.